day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things he's done in our lives. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Love you. Psalms 91 says, You he that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High. Because long as you stay in it, then you can operate with the authority that you're submitted to. Yeah. But you have to be in it. And that's what God wants us to do. You gotta stay in Christ. Yeah, you know, the other uh, this is this is something that, that came to mind. You know, we, we we, we, us being of the military, we we really have been we've experienced yep. this authority thing, and I'm talking about from the time you enter into the military, they strip you of your 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 identity. They really do. They they, they get you to the point to where you look at civilians yes, as being less than. Come on, come on. Yeah. No, I'm serious, because you, you, what do they do? They, first they come in, they don't even take your clothes at first. Come on. They come in and they change your features. Uh -huh. They shave your hair, you know, and then Whoa. a few days later, then you get, you get uh, a uniform to make, to identify you as no. being a part of. Yes, sir. So now you're in. You've and been so now you know that you have authority. Come on now. To be in the place in the place just to be in it come is on. an authority that you have come on to, you get to uh you get to visit all the places on. on the military base come that on. you couldn't before come so on. that's an authority that you just get right off the bat come on. and then you understand that you're under authority because you have to listen to everything that you're told yes, but sir. you still have the authority to go about to and fro and to know that everybody else well, is on your side uh -huh. in that same uniform. Yes, so sir. even when you just get into this body of Christ, come on now. Come on. you should understand that you have that authority come on. <laughs> and that you're under authority come from on. the beginning. And come then on. you grow uh -huh. from faith to faith. Right. And so the, the the structure of that is 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 so easy Come for anybody who have been in the military like that centurion right? to understand uh -huh. how we are to operate because we didn't go above our authority because we couldn't we couldn't go to somebody above us who outranked us Come on. and tell them what to do Come on. we can we can give them our ideas about we couldn't tell them what to do so we knew we were under their authority Party. yes sir we gave an oath uh -huh. Uh -huh. saying that right so the, the 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 more we knew the more we learned uh -huh. the more authority that we got and did you notice that your uniform is it's almost a symbolic parable of of a covering Yes. Did you hear it? That uniform was a covering. And if you yes. notice, it turned, we use the term all the time. When I was in the military, right? You were in the military. Right. And then once you're in it, now you operate within the authority that's given to you in the military. Because I can't be out of the military. I can't retire. If I retire, I'm no longer in it. But you have access to it. Oh, you have access to it, but I'm not in it, right? But, and I'm not clothed. I can't put the uniform on right now unless I'm called what? Called back. And when I'm called back, now I got to put on the. I have to put that covering back on to operate with an authority that's given to me when I come back in. Mm, so I can't operate that authority out of the military, right? And God is saying that you, you got to be in Christ to operate in the authority of Christ. And you got to, your, your uniform is a covering while your anointing, Brother Jackson, is the anointing of God, the Holy Spirit covering you 
the operating authority. Now, what I wanted to do, put in there, let's go make sure you understand, you need to walk in the authority and you need to remain in Christ because this scripture right here, the Brother Jackson that I read, was that last part there, Brother Jackson, this is Matthew's 11. There you go. <laughs> hey, can you raise that up? Uh-uh, I'm gonna have to read it for you then, you can't see it. Cause I can't read, there's a slide. That's a, a, yeah, you, I can't, I can't. Let me yeah, read it. It's blocked. Okay, my... let me read it for you. Matthew's 11, 11 and 12. Well, I can read it out of my scripture. I got it. You got it? Okay. Matthew, right. Matthew 11, 11 and, uh, uh, and verse 12, you said? Yes, sir. Okay. Verily I say unto you, among them that are born of women, there hath not risen a greater than John the Baptist. Notwithstanding, he that is least in the kingdom of heaven is greater than he. Yes, sir. In verse 12, and from the days of John the Baptist until now, the kingdom of heaven have suffered violence, and the violence take it by force. Now, so first of all, I want to show out the kingdom suffers violence. Mm -hmm. You are in a warfare. Well, one of the things I did catch on this too while he was reading was the fact is the least is the greatest because as a man used to be in the military, my soldier, my airman, was my authority that I had responsibility for. Is that true? When you were in charge, Brother Jackson, you remember your, that airman was not above you, he was subordinate to you, but you had a you had responsibility for his safety, didn't you? Yes, you had authority over him, but you were responsible for him. You were responsible. So anything they did wrong, it sure reflected on you. Come on, brother. Okay. If, yeah, take this in consideration. It says a man born of women is none greater than John the Baptist, but he was least in the kingdom of God. He least in the kingdom. Are we not in the kingdom of God? Come on now. Are we not the son of God? Yeah. Is Trump born of God? Yes. If Trump is born of God, if he is not born of God, that means either one of us is greater than he is. But we still have responsibility for his well-being. Isn't that strange? We, we, we have the responsibility, but the point I'm trying to say Thank is you. that responsibility is the fact is that you're supposed to be able to affect positive things in his life. You, 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 you're responsible for their safety. Amen. Now, because Christ is the head, we have one layer of authority. It's, it's just like, you know, what came to mind was when Israel chose a king. God said, you didn't, you didn't reject, he didn't reject Samuel. God rejected me, God, as being the king. Look how God was trying to set this situation even back in the Old Testament. Right. There was no other king except for who? God. <laughs> They rejected that because they wanted to be like the world system. They were already Wait. like the world. That's what's crazy. We didn't know it though. Right back to the garden. Go right back to the garden. Right back to the garden. Satan got him again. Got him again. They but had a king who was God. Come on now. Come on. But they wanted to be come on. like God or were like the world system. Like the world system. And so, man, come on, man, Satan, Satan, get, man. But, but, but doesn't that kind of tell us something? Um, you know, we're saying a lot of different things, but what it tells me is rather than me be uh, surprised <laughs> that we are in the situation that we're in, just recognize, again, uh, we, we've been told this, that these things are going to happen. So uh, rather than get all hyped up in the flesh yes. that... Um, folks aren't acting right. I need to recognize that this is more of the same. Yes, sir. What God uh, uh, said was going to happen. Yes, sir. And so what I need to do, this is a matter of fact, this is more evidence as to why we need to continue to preach the gospel and, and not stop. Come on. And not try to, you know, like you guys said earlier, dress it up with some newfangled thing, you know, because it, it, that's that's an error anyway. Yes, sir. Um, Hey, and one other thing before we move on, I, uh, in Matthew 8, verse 8, um, 
you know, we've been talking about the authority, but, it, you know, it said, it does say here that the century, centurion answered and said, Lord, I am not worthy that thou shouldest come in, under my roof. Right. Um, I, it, it, do we have time to address that verse? Um, no, I, I, that caught my eye too, uh, Brother Jackson, mm -hmm. because the first of all, the centurion was outside the body of Christ. Outside the he, he was outside of of, of, of the children of Israel. The kingdom. He, he, but he must have heard the authority that Jesus walked in exactly. and recognized it. Yes, sir. And so went to and sought him out. Come on now. So knowing that he was outside, I mean, uh -huh. he even said it. You, said you know, I'm not worthy that you should come into my house. Right. But these folks that are in my house <laughs> are yours. Uh -huh. And I know that you, if you healing yours, come on. these are yours. I'm, let yes. me let you know about. Them. Yes, sir. So uh, that that caught my eye as well. Right. Mm -hmm. the, yeah. the Bible teaches that um, um, when a when a man's ways please the Lord. It says that even his enemies will be at peace with him. Yes, so, and so when you start, and so he knew, he had heard that Jesus was raising the dead, was casting out devils. So, I mean, he may not have been part of the body and had nothing to do with religion or Christianity, but he had a, he had somebody that was near and dear to him that was in, that was in need of something. And he knew through the grapevine where he could go and get it rectified. And so he put all that other stuff aside and said, well, I'll do this. You know, I'll tell you something too. Oh, Jesus was quick. He was so quick. You know, he said one thing. He said, I'll come and heal him. Yeah. He said, I'll come and heal him. He yeah. said, well, let me let me go pray about it. Let me see what let me see what the Lord thinks. Of. He said, I'm gonna come and heal him. Yeah. Let's go. Let's yeah, he go said, let's go. I, I'll come and heal him. You know what? <laughs> that, that shocked me. He marveled. But you know, I and, and Pastor say that he marveled. Yeah, he only marveled one other time in scripture. Uh, Jesus only marveled twice. And both times it, it was concerning faith. The other time was in his own hometown when he could only heal a few sick folk. Yeah. He marveled at their unbelief. unbelief. So one time he marveled because of so great a faith in the negative, and then the other time he marveled at such great a faith in the positive. In the positive. But either way, he, he marveled because of faith. Yes, and that sir. is absolutely astonishing. <laughs> and, 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 and you know, I just ask, I, I just wonder, have, have, have we made him marvel? You know, and y'all talked about the military a little bit. You know, it's amazing though that uh, it, you know everybody from that uniform, everybody that that oneness that it brought about, the oneness. Yeah. You know, that's 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 another thing I think we we're missing in the conversation. That oneness. I think now yeah. that this 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 that we're in is so fractured, so oh, many man. different denominations. So many different positions. We want to argue and debate, and, and yeah. we got so many different things we can't agree on. Right. So how in the world can we feel like we part of a united front, part of a major team, Come part on. of something great, and then feel proud of it, that you know we can step out here because we got the whole United States Army supporting me, or the whole US Air Force behind me. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, it's just, it's different because, I mean, how would the Army be if they were so splintered and fractured? And each, each little unit in every place was doing its own thing, its own way, had its own philosophy. They had their own 22 day fire, their own drilling ceremony. I yeah. mean, when they got together, everything was totally different. I mean, you're thinking, is this army of one? I mean, lately, you know, we went to the army of one. Yeah. Even the army got rid of uh, different berets and went, I think, the one color beret. Because yeah. they, they were trying to get away from you yeah, distinguishing separate. yourself above this yeah. one. You distinguish yeah. No, we need to see we're all one. Why? We need to be one. You. Yeah, that's that's a good good observation because I tell you what you entered into this military and they made you put aside Come on, exactly. your differences. Come on, you exactly. had to conform Come on. <laughs> to exist, or they put you out. Yes, sir. <laughs> so you you had if you you could, but the thing about it, it blew my mind. You could be prejudiced uh -huh. and still conform. Isn't that something? Isn't and that perform, something? conform, that and perform. Come on and now. there's racism. There's racism in the military. That's why yes. I, that's why I'm not that like it's not. But it, I tell you what, it's drastically uh, far less than yes. what you're gonna have out here in society. That's for dang sure. What's that? You know what else came to mind? What's that? What you were saying, Jimmy? How you know you, you have your different sister service. Uh -huh. Now you 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 poke prod, you you joke, you put down each one of them. Uh -huh. Yeah. But when the 
when the rubber hits the road, when you jump are off. fighting. Come on. Everybody is with everybody. You on one accord because everybody needs everybody in those Absolutely. situations. I mean, Absolutely. the Air Force gets talked about by being so soft and so pampered and so this and so that. But when new folks in the front lines need a ride out of that hot zone, oh, we the best thing since sliced bread, man. <laughs> come, come.